Archaeologists examined the remains of a village of pit houses. Impressions of where the pit houses were located were still visible. The diagram below shows the remains of a village with a number of pit houses. Estimate the number of people that could have lived in this village. State any assumptions you have made. Explain and justify your solution. So our goal is to get a four. We need to actually state assumptions. We need to actually calculate an area of small and large pit houses. So we need to make a distinction. We need to estimate the number of people, provide evidence and justify our estimate, and communicate it in the context of this problem. We need to be mindful of the population. And referring back to the old diagram, we recognize that families, couples, adults all require different spaces. We need to make sure that our population is based on the distributions of people in each size of pit house. We need to show that we're actually using some math and we're calculating the size of each pit house using some circle formula, area equals pi r squared. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, 4 out of 4 good answer. Assumptions. Nice bullet of points here. Families need 10 meters squared of living space. That comes from the, the chart. Couples need 7. Adults need 4. There will be a combination of families, couples, and adults in the community. Fire ladder requires 1. Okay, nice little picture here. Small pit house. Area equals pi r squared. So notice how we have some small pit houses here. The diameter is 7. Half of 7 is 3.5. And we calculate the area. And we're just rounding to around 38. But the logic for subtracting 1 meter squared for the fire pit slash ladder is now 37 of living space. And here the work is being shown how families it will be the most efficient use of space. So we divide that number 10 meters squared per family. That's three families plus a little bit of space left over. And we're going to squeeze in a couple there because seven meters squared is, is enough room. And here's the conclusion. So we can squeeze all these people in. And the fact that there's three small pit houses, one, two, and three, we're going to take all these 14 people and multiply it by three, which is 42. Okay, now there are also large pit houses, and there are many that have a diameter of 11 meters. And what we have here is we have the calculation similar to the previous example. And we're also subtracting the fire pit, which is great, some details. And here is the assumption. We're assuming that about half of the pit houses are for families and the other half are for adults and couples. So not everyone will have the same answer, but this person is writing some clear details about their calculations. Then, because we have a area of about 94, about half of that is about 50 meters living space. You can accommodate five families, okay? And the leftover is going to be a subtraction, and that's shown here. And the other half is going to be couples. So with that space, we can squeeze in five couples. But there's still a little bit of space left. In which case, we might decide to squeeze in two adults. Now, in truth, pit houses are not always full, but this is the assumptions that this person is writing about. So therefore, we can squeeze all these different types of people in. We multiply by the number of large pit houses, which is eight. And so we have a whole bunch of people. 298 is going to be 256, all the large, plus the small pit houses, the people in all the small, small pit houses. Going back to the original question, it says, estimate the number of people that could have lived in the village. So it's probably not the best idea to say zero, just because the pit houses being empty would be silly. So we're going to try to fill these up. And that's why this person wrote the answer, this answer in this way.